Look what I have here. Multimeter, alligator clips, a fog light bulb, an alternator, a little DC current generator, and the Bentley manual. I've moved forward with my troubleshooting of the alternator. So just recall on my particular case, I was dealing with, out of the Bentley manual, ignition on, engine off, warning light off. So I was dealing with low voltage, 11.7 on my digital voltage meter, but no warning light. So basically, battery fully discharged. No, it was not. So I tested that. So this is from the previous video. Bulb burned out. Tested that. And then I removed the alternator. And then I was wanting to test the wiring. So the alternator is out. Um, the bulb was working. But I want to make sure the car was okay. Like, how's my wiring? Is there a problem with the ignition? Switch. Terminal 15. Um, the blue wire that goes up to the gauges. And uh, so I videoed some of that. And hopefully this edits well, but I tried a lot of different things. There's some hard ways to do it, which I did. There's some easy ways to do it, which I did. And then, um, let's see. Yeah, light does not come on. So I, I never really did get the light to come on. I hooked the alternator back up. I gave it power and I never got the light to come back on. So then I dug into the alternator. I tested this. So I figured, you know, I never did this before. I figured out how to test the, the uh, voltage regulator and I reset the brushes. So there was someone in the comments suggested I check the brushes. This is a new one, newer one with less than 4,000 miles. So the, uh, the brushes were fine, but sometimes they might have got stuck or something. Anyway, I took it off, put it back in, didn't make any change. Um, there is a little bit of physical damage here. I don't know what that's from. But anyway, I will show you and I'll try and edit it down. I did pump more voltage from this into the voltage regulator using all this stuff. And yeah, I saw the high limit of voltage regulation, which it, it's pretty cool. And then I tested the diodes. So spoiler alert, it's somewhere in these diodes, I think. I'm not an expert at these, but um, from what I could tell, the car is all right. Wiring and everything is fine. I did go in here and I taped up some of these connections. This is a preventative. So I added a little more tape. I taped around the blue wire. Probably add a little around. Well, that's a ground. That shouldn't matter. Anyway, I'm going to try and edit this down so that, uh, you know, if you run into this problem, it'll maybe be interesting to you. If this was causing a short right here, it was shorting against the alternator, one of the little, the diodes on the back are kind of sharp, so maybe that's where a shorting, but I don't know if that's a real smoking gun, but it's the only thing I can find so far. So I'm going to test that circuit, so you can see I already have my alligator clip attached to it. I'm going to pump, oh, look at that refresh, all right, 12.2 volts through the blue wire, up to the light bulb. I have my daisy chained alligator clips going to the gauge because this car is all painted and there's not good grounds. At least nothing I can find faster than doing this. So let me send some output through, I turn that on. We should see a light on if the wire is good. Okay, there it is. So, that wire is good. Take you over to what I'm gonna do with this. So this thing, the air diverter gets beat up. You can see I've already JB welded it to just keep it from disintegrating. Plastics get brittle, rubber gets brittle, you can see. 
it added a new crack. So anyway, I'm going to throw it in here. I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to grab my sandpaper, rough it up. And I'm going to use the epoxy well to fix the crack and to maybe shore up the other the other areas here on both sides so I'll do that and I'll let you know what it looks like when it's all done all right so if there's a smoking gun this is the closest I got right here this is where the cut is in the wire And it really just perfectly hits with right there on the tip, right on that. See that? All right, a new day here. I've already cleaned and inspected the shroud, the fan shroud and the fan. The belt is still good, so that will be reused. And then I did reinforce this with... Uh, epoxy Hi everyone all right so you know i like i said i have my alternator on order but you know this is a learning thing for me so i always find this stuff interesting so i'm just playing around while the alternator is on the way to actually diagnose it i don't think it was that little nick in the blue wire i don't think that was the problem so what i did was kind of like what the bentley said to do touch the blue wire to ground and if it lights up then you're okay with the wiring so let me show you that real quick so essentially to test the wire to the ignition you just take the blue wire and just ground it which this is like this is in the Bentley manual so you just ground it put it right there on the horn right there and I'm gonna go very gently All right, so there's the alternator light. So the wiring from the ignition to the back is good. Although I did repair the little nick in the insulation. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna test the voltage regulator. I'm gonna take this, this guy very carefully and slowly, and I'm gonna put it back on the post for the blue. Okay, and I'm going to come back, nothing, see I do have power, no light, so I'm going to test the voltage regulator next. Alright, so I'm going to pull this thing off, voltage regulator, I already had this off. Earlier, I did do a test. I checked the brushes. This is a new voltage regulator, so the brushes are good. You'll see. Um, it does have signs of physical damage. A little bit of cracking there on the case, but I think this is from when I was moving it around. I don't think it was like that when I installed this. Okay. There it is. Let me set it up for testing. Oh, well, let me show you. The brushes look good. Commutator looks good. I think that's how you say it. Okay, let's do some tests. All right, well, nothing conclusive here besides that this looks like it's working. So I have 12 volt going into the yellow, going to the blue, so that will activate it. And I have the multimeter going to the brushes. So bad news, 13.72, 13.62, 
So if I go up, thir oh, hold on, seven, eight, thirteen, four. So it will cut off. All right, so fourteen point oh two, thirteen point nine two. So like if I go up to fifteen, here's fifteen oh two. It cuts off. So it's regulating on the top. Uh, let's see here. I'm going down to 10, 9. Yeah, so it's regulating up and down. So I don't know. Maybe I'll test the uh, diodes next. And a diode test. 1039, I think that's out of spec. Gonna check it. So that's as far as I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna install the new alternator. So what are your thoughts? Leave a comment in the section below. Was it the blue wire shorting on a diode to cause it? I don't know. So if you have anything or any ideas, let me know. Talk to you later. Bye.